Let me put you in the picture. Caroline, uh, after three and a half years, decided she wants to get a fish and we arrived and there's actually brown water and colored water. Now for those of you who followed us long enough will know Caroline never miss, missed a fishing trip. I've caught sharks up to 100 kilos, got a yellowfin tuna of 90 kilos. She's caught some big fish. She's got uh, what we refer to as lady luck or Caroline luck or she used to have it and we'll find out if she still got it. Now this spot can be so tricky, yes we're in a westerly, southwesterly, southerly wind which is not ideal for this spot, looking for bigger fish but there's brown water and I suspect it's coming off the river here, um, Charlie River that's pushed this way, maybe that's, that's a factor that uh, can change things around plus uh, if you've still got your luck well, I think I'm a bit rusty on the fishing side but the luck shouldn't go away Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was the lucky one but in any case um, the idea was to come and scratch for some fish in this working foamy water and when we arrived here luckily I brought a bigger rod, I brought my tournament so uh, I can throw a nice mackerel red eye bait and see if there's a small sandy around or a big sandy if she holds the rod, we'll see um, and I'll also have a throw here for maybe a stumpy or a pompano the water is now dirty like I said maybe there's a cobby or two who yeah, knows? it's so nice to be back I'm uh, loving it is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's forever memories, whining memories, this memories. this last two months and uh, for those of you who follow um, little Mila is now turning almost three years and uh, so you can start fishing again no excuses now yeah so yeah. let's do it let's do it <laughs> getting ready for action yeah, that's a nice thing about coming coming to fish with Andre he gets all the tackle ready all the bait ready everything I just pitch up don't lie, you make these traces. <laughs> okay, gents, I'm fishing uh, tournament 15, power tournament so with my dogfight, 8,000. Got 50 pound J braid on there, uh, 150 pound. Yeah, 150 pound leader, J bro. Then I put about one mil, uh, about 80 centimeters. So I'm just gonna put a combi swivel on here. I made it a bit longer. Can be some toothy critters around. Because I believe the water is still warm. Hey, I miss fishing with Caroline. I think the rods are being set up, the line's been putting through the eyes. Yeah. I'm gonna put a point seven. This is probably a point six. Sinker line. Now I'm fishing a jayuk, a ring soy jayuk for the sandies. If there's one fish that uh, can bend your uh, hooks open. And they tend to with circle hooks regardless of what circle hook it is. If you hook it in the wrong place on that boat, it can open it up. And then the first thing the guys would do is, oh, it's rubbish hooks, these hooks open, these hooks open. But that's a sandy boys. That's what it does. Lovely head. 
For those questions about the air coolers, this is where they're coming. So now, remember that uh, nice, soft, fleshy boat can still slide off your foam, especially when you put the head on like that. Not from my condition. Yeah, this is not Caroline's air coolers anymore. <laughs> Never was. <laughs> That I'm going to put there and that just helps holding the bait a bit. Guys, this is uh, the air coolers are not available at Kingfisher. <laughs> you get it from these tiny shops or clicks or any of those. Okay. okay, my dear. Make this bait pretty and hope it gets you the bite. Uh, these are not the neatest bait, but uh, nice and smelly. I want to get into this brown with water before it moves away. And with the water being discolored, uh, the visuals, I'm not too phased about. using my 5,000 Saltiga and this is 20 pound yeah 20 pound J-Brake uh, 13 foot oh that's a bike yeah. 13 foot 6 let's see if she can get it so I can challenge out there for the ladies that watch the channel um, do you, are you married to a fisherman or an angler let us know tell us your stories do you fish with them don't you fish with them I'm sure there's a lot of stories that come from the ladies about their angler Peckers, Caroline says, just a little 3 0 ringed soy trace. I want to use here in front. There might be some pompados around, some stumpies, who knows? You'll never know until you try. And chocka, a bit of lango. I don't have octopus, otherwise, I would have used a bit of octopus in the bottom. When these pickers steal your bait, you still still got that little bit of guaranteed in the bottom. But yeah, there's the little bait. A pommy or a stumpy, that's what we're hoping for. Let's see if we can get that. Peckers, when I took the rod, it is uh, much bigger edibles, but I've got a hell of a hook on here. So, changing tactics quickly, I'm going to put a, a 6 0 ring soy or a 5 and put a red eye again. We'll catch them. It's either those three twin kingies or bonefish that's in the area, the, the way the bite was. Could be a stumpy as well, but with this big hook, you don't stand a chance.
give one of my rogers, but uh, we're going to definitely put out a boat and I'm sure there's more of these guys swimming around. But we better get them back before, uh, before it's out of the water too long. No, that yeah. was on a Tenno ring toy, she got it. Um, it was actually fishing for a sandy with a whole mackerel. again and uh, yeah I have to go pick up my little girl from school now so it was just a quick morning session remember to send your angling wife letters to us at grand grand elite at asfn.co.za and uh, like I said I'm sure we can organize a nice pink dawa cap and a nice shirt up for grabs with the best story from an angler's wife <laughs> She's back and she's got a bit of luck. It was a uh, two kilo luck, um, but at least I mean she held my uh, tournament. She got that fish. So looking forward to Caroline coming fishing with us more often. Maybe we'll get more fish. So yeah, backing up. The wind's pushing. The tide's a bit strong. I didn't bring grapnel sinkers, uh, so we're washing a bit, and we're low on bait with all the pickers we got this side. We move that side. It light a bit longer for a, for a good bite. The tide's turned, it's pushing nicely now. A lot of brown water coming from uh, Mshali River. We're on Red Rocks, Tinley Manor. And uh, that water's a move, moving around the point. It's pushed in here, so it's nice dirty water. And the bonefish and those threadfin kingies normally move with these patches of brown water in this area as well. Um, bay squid, langoustine little baits, long shots good chance of finding them see you guys soon and thank you for everybody that subscribes if you haven't subscribed yet guys it, please it helps us and push that little notification bell button and choose what type of notifications you want to receive if you want to receive notifications on when we upload videos thank you all for watching and see you soon